This blind man was blind. This man was blind, representing sin. Sin blinds us, but he wanted to be freed from his blindness, from his sin, so to speak. And so he asked our Lord, have pity on me, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy, I want to see. And our Lord said, your faith has saved you, have sight. And this is what we need to do when we come uh, to recognize our blindness in some way, that we are all blind to a greater or less degree to some things uh, in the spiritual world and our faith in regard to our relationship to God and in seeing the truth, the truth in the world, the truth about sin, the truth about virtue and the truth about God and um, the important values and things in life. Blindness is, a, is, a, is a, a reality in this world, and sin is the, is the cause of blindness, sin, pride, laziness, a, a lack of desire for the truth, a lack of openness to, to the truth, sin, impurity too, as we say, as St. Jesus said, blessed are the pure of heart, they will see God, they won't be blind to God, they will see the truth. So purity is uh, uh, important and impurity is a cause of blindness, but primarily pride. Pride blinds the arrogant and pride blinds you and me when we give in to pride. We blind ourselves in, in some ways to so many things, blindness to blindness to the truth, and we see that blindness in our culture today, with um, with the evils that that are, are around us, <clears throat> especially ab abortion and homosexuality. Th those things that are promoted in today's culture is something even good. Contraception, divorce, these things are seen as even good in cer certain circumstances a blindness where you see evil as good and that blindness has set in. We saw that in the time of Jesus too. Of course, the Pharisees, the Pharisees were blind to the truth about Jesus. Here, holiness itself is before the eyes of the Pharisees and the Jews and the Gentiles. Holiness itself, the truth itself, light, itself and they were even blind to that the most perfect human being the most perfect god man in before their eyes and they couldn't see it they didn't want to see it because it would have meant giving up their sin giving up their pleasures giving up their pride and their self exaltation they didn't want that so they chose to be blind they chose that blindness. They didn't want to see. They didn't want to say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. I want to see. That's all they would have had to do is open themselves to Jesus and ask for the truth, to ask for his grace. And this is what we need to do. We look in our own personal life and those blindnesses we might have to our vices, our sinfulness, our selfishness, blindness to the truth about ourself is, is very real too. And also to others, if we are not open to the truth and open to God's grace and open to love and humility, we're not even going to see our neighbor. We're not even going to see the needs of our, our neighbor. That's why the Pharisees were like that. They didn't <clears throat> lift a finger to help their neighbor. They would prefer to accuse them than to help them. And blindness does that too. It blinds, it blinds us to the needs and the sufferings and the, the, uh, um, the help that our neighbor, our neighbor needs. We need to be open to the truth, to see all the truth in reality, the needs of our neighbor, the needs of ourselves, the needs of 
God, so to speak, and, and uh, us obeying his commandments and doing what is pleasing in his sight. So many things we need to see. And to be able to see, all we need to do is ask, to be open, to want, to desire, to desire the truth. So let us make that resolution today, to be open to the truth, to pray for the truth, to unite ourselves to, to Our Lady, who is a light, to Jesus, to Our Lady, to the truth, to the church, to the magisterium of the church. We have all these means of the truth and of the light. We just need to come into the, and come into the truth and into the, to the light of our, our faith, as this uh, blind man did. He shouted all the louder, even when he had opposition to him. They tried to keep him quiet. He shouted all the louder, Jesus, Son of David, have pity on me. So let us shout louder in our prayers to our Lord, in our desires for the truth, desires for God's will, desires for holiness. Let us keep asking until we come into the light, until we receive God's grace. Oh,